It makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs> a man in a leash man had deals of cannabis in his car. Um, so this is a story coming out of uh, a leash where um, a port leash uh, where a man was uh, basically driving his car, got stopped at a guard at checkpoint, and uh, there again they smelled cannabis coming out of the car. They, they found in the car what was valued at 300 euros worth of cannabis um, in five individual deal bags. Um, the guy when interviewed was uh, uncooperative. However, he was cooperative during the search. Um, so when brought up before the judge then, um, it, it was told that the man had worked. Uh, he was a single man, lived with his parents, worked in construction in the UK after doing his leave insert and had returned to Ireland where he had worked with Irish Rail and in a warehouse. He was temporarily out of work and on the supply element he was giving some of his own stash to a number of acquaintances and it was not particularly commercial enterprise. Um, the judge, Bernadette Owens, uh, said that she took into account the fact that he was in no way obstructive to the Gardaí when his car was searched. Um, and she ordered a start of justice report and said that if it was positive, she would strike out the matter. So again, a lucky one fair for this individual. But, you know, like this guy, if if you were to look at the situation, he's got caught. He's got caught with five bags of cannabis. Now, his story is he's going to give it to his friends. But look, he's just admitted to drug dealing. Like, if this is such a serious crime as they say it is, like, well, what's the story with the restorative justice and all of this kind of nonsense? Like, shouldn't this guy be going to prison? Like, no, the whole thing is a joke. Like, end this prohibition once and for all. Like, and stop this nonsense. Restorative justice. All it is is just another way of terrorizing a citizen of the state. That's exactly what they're doing. How many people have been brought before the courts and ended up giving, you know, having to give up cannabis uh, in order to produce clean specimens of urine? Um, for the urine analysis, you know, this is state-sponsored terrorism, like, it needs to fucking end, like, this guy got caught with cannabis, which he was going to bring and share with his friends, like, come on, like, whoop the bloody do like, where, where's the benefit to the taxpayer by um, f- paying the cops in order to be wasting their time, like, while the cops are at the checkpoint dealing with this individual at the side of the road, what what if there was a person driving up, like, and they had a victim of human trafficking involved in there, like, you know, you've got a young kidnapped kid, you know, meanwhile, the cops at the side of the road for 15, 20 minutes, like, you know, dealing with fucking the, the Pablo Escobar of bloody Port Leash, getting caught with five deals of cannabis. Jesus, lads, we, we're on to one here now. Like, we got a big fella. Make sure you go through his phone now, get his password. Lads, we have the power now to get his password. Obviously, they didn't back then, like, but they're going to be getting it soon if the bills pa- uh, that bill pass passes. Like, but imagine, like, you know, what, what did they miss? Like, what went through the checkpoint that they missed? Oh. You know? While dealing with your man with his cannabis, like money for, you know what I mean? Like a great value for money there for the taxpayers, like sick, like, do you know what I mean? Meanwhile, like, you know, a, a, a kidnapped kid get, gets away, like, do you know, a, a beaten wife is driving past there now, like who, who if stopped, like could, the, the cop might have been able to kind of intervene or something like that, you know? <sighs> what a waste, like, do you know, how long more are we going to continue to carry this fucking burdensome fat? Like, th- this is literally just a big, excessive fat, like a big cancerous lump in our society that we need to remove. It needs to be removed at once because it's it's corrupt in uh, uh, our society. Like, um, the longer it remains, the, the more g- bigger it grows and, and the more fucking pus-filled it is. <laughs> it's horrible, man. Get rid of it. Prohibition. It's a cancer on our society. Oh, it makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs>